12th win former NBA coach of the year Avery Johnson as a player helped the Spurs win a title in 1999. James Harden, the big story here, leaves with a hamstring injury less than a minute into the game. Knowing what you know about hamstring injuries, if Harden is out for an extended amount of time here, could this derail Brooklyn's title chances? Not, not necessarily, Hakeem, because um, when you're talking about Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and the supporting cast, especially with Blake Griffin, uh, you know, I, I know we want to talk about Mike James, but Blake Griffin was incredible tonight. Uh, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, they'll play 42 minutes plus. Um, they still would be the, you know, in the top five, top seven players in the NBA. Uh, so they can still get the job done. You know, the Milwaukee Bucks only made six three-pointers. And outside of the two threes that Giannis made, you know, they're not shooting very good percentage, four for 28. So I think they can, I think the Nets can still derail the Milwaukee Bucks with the without James Harden. Hamstring injuries are very temperamental. I missed 40 games in a season because of a hamstring injury because I kept trying to come back too soon. So they got to get him really healthy and ready to play. Yeah, uh, that uh, certainly uh, is a big story going into game two. Game two comes your way Monday. Uh, James Harden missed 21 games during the regular season with a hamstring strain. Okay, you mentioned Blake Griffin, Mike James. What kind of statement did the Nets make in game one with guys like that stepping up? Yeah, again, for the Nets, uh, you know, they want to play with, when they downsize, you know, they want to play with Blake Griffin at the five spot. DeAndre Jordan, you know, whether, you know, he's been basically uh, abolished from the whole rotation, but they, they've gone with Blake Griffin at the five spot. He's a smaller five. He's played for basically both with the Clippers and also with the Detroit Pistons, but now, you know, and just like our U.S. national team, he's in his natural spot. He's an undersized five. He's been an undersized five, even when he played for Orlando, for the Oklahoma Oklahoma uh, Sooners. He's an undersized five. He's in his, you know, comfort zone, and now they've been able to utilize, develop all of his skills, and it's a perfect fit for him. And um, he can be a mismatch for bigger fives, especially, uh, you know, when he pick and roll with Kyrie or Kevin Durant, he puts the rest of the fives in a bind because of his size and his speed. Well, this was certainly his best game of the playoffs thus far. Certainly didn't have that type of production in the first round against the Celtics. But, man, yeah. he's getting it done here in game one against the Bucks. A double-double for Blake Griffin as uh, the Nets make a statement in game one as James Harden leaves less than a minute into the game because of a hamstring injury. Again, game two Monday night back in Brooklyn. Avery Johnson joining us here on CBS Sports HQ. Coach, thank you. And here's a look at Sunday's slate. 76ers begin their second round series against the Hawks. Tar center Joel Embiid listed as questionable because of a small meniscus tear in his right knee. He'll have treatment, go through a pregame workout to determine his status. Philadelphia currently a two and a half point home favorite in game one. And we've got a game seven between the Mavs and Clippers. The road team has won each of the previous six games in the series. The total in this game is 212. And consider this, each of the past nine game sevens in the NBA have gone well under. The average over-under in those nine games was 209. Check out HQ 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday for a full betting preview. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.